It's just been this beautiful, beautiful, flowing, 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 angelic being of light who has stepped in and graced us with her presence, with her presence. And she's saying to you that I am so happy, I am so happy that you have come here you have come here into the crystalline chamber, into the crystalline chamber of your very own heart. And we are here with you. Beautiful, beautiful gathering. These light lilac and green and yellow aqua beings of light. Imagine, if you will, that you have been, been invited to a grand party. And this is a party of you being honored. You are being honored. She's saying, come here. Be here with us. We see you. And we love, we love you so very much. We have been watching, watching, watching you from a distance. Because we do not want to interfere in your lives in the choices because you are doing so beautifully well you see and yet she's saying to you come here come here be here with us now allow us to love you allow us to love you and to honor you, to honor you. It wasn't that long ago, you see, when you were not here helping the others who were embodied. And now we have this great gift to give you. So she's leading you into the inner chamber. Imagine, if you will, there's this beautiful, beautiful crystalline table. It's all set up for you. And someone on your left someone on your right is leading you into this chamber and saying here here let me help you let me help you you gently lie down and there's this beautiful gossamer like energy at your head beautiful green blanket under your body and as you lie down and become ever so gently comfortable there is a light that descends from far above you and this light my dear one This is your guardian angel. This is your guardian angel. Here to greet you. Here to greet you. Take 
take a moment. Take a moment. To feel the love and the appreciation for you. For you. I'm hearing the words, but you know you're almost there in your mind, in your mind. But your guardian angel is telling you but you know you've always been there because your heart is so very pure, so very pure. You know, in the presence of love, all the questions seem to melt away, do they not? And yet you are being so lovingly, so lovingly encouraged. If there is anything here within you now, within you now that you wish to know, that you wish to better understand, here is your guardian angel face to face, form to form. And there are other beings here also. They are coming and crowding around you now. These are your brothers and your sisters of the light. There are some that are guiding you now. your mother, your father, your great aunt, the sister that you never really got to know. They're all here. And as you recognize, as you recognize the energies around you coming in, to say hello. There is this very tall white being of light that's stepping forward into the sacred circle and is saying intuitively, yes, we are ready now. We are all assembled for you and with you. Are you ready to receive? This great being is asking. Are you ready to receive that which you are? For you know that your world is shifting, yes? Your world is shifting, embodied one. And you know that your life moving forward that you are simply to play, yes, to play. And so we say to you now, we wish for you to consider your way. We wish for you to consider. Are you ready? So many of us, when we are asked this question in our lives, we so desire, we so desire love and joyousness. And then when it greets us, we say, no, I'm not ready yet. I need to practice more. I need to come a little further along the path. And this grand being of light with your angelic helper, your guardian angel, 
and all the beautiful souls that have been rooting for you all along. They're saying there is no need to wait. There is no need to step aside at this point in your embodiment. None at all. Even if in your current existence on that spinning blue planet appears to look otherwise, there is no need to wait. It is time. And all it is, is as your mind is soft and your heart is ever so pure and you are residing in your light body on this beautiful crystalline table with all the love and support that you could ever imagine around you, you need only in your awareness say this answer this hear how simple this is yes 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 i receive i open i allow all that i am to be amplified and all that i am is love. Bring more of that to me. Show me, will you? Will you show me? And they're saying, yes, we will. And so take a moment and feel the energies one by one by one by one I'll repeat that one by one by one by one this is an 11 11 sequence for this particular soul group that is gathered here in this crystalline chamber this is the resetting of your life force here upon the planet. This is a reset. You need not know with your mind what's being given to you. The only thing that is necessary is your willingness to receive to receive yes being shown images of those of you who have said yes. I see beautiful, beautiful tones of green and lavender and deepen essences of violet and indigo. You may, de may even experience light promptings in your field. They're saying that they are infusing your light body with the images that will carry you forward for the next three to seven years. Receive them.
hearing the words. Now we want to take you, we want to take you and show you the patternings of your life and living. You are not just that which you are in your physical existence, you know. You may be here in your awareness on this spinning blue planet, but we know who you are, and we wish for you to see the fullness of who you are. For you are the master creators, and you have lived many lives on the planet. Yes, this is quite true. This is quite true. And we must tell you that you have also lived many lives in other worlds. As I'm looking around the room, they're telling me and showing me the colors of these other worlds. But mostly we come from the Andromeda galaxy in our most recent lifetimes. Why is this important to get a feel and a flavor of the Andromeda galaxy and the mirror Earth that has evolved separately from this Earth? Why is that important? They're saying because you are the creators of that world and have helped to create this world. So you have a matrix inside of you that you understand what this world is to be like because you have felt the trueness of the original blueprint. You have it in your matrix. So as you are about to be helped off of that crystalline table and led to a Merkaba, a collective Merkaba, we're going to go there together. So as you sense and feel the presence of these beautiful beings of light, helping you, supporting you, loving you, they're about to help you you're saying, yes, step here. You see, in your imagination, you still have a body, but they know differently. You're really in a Merkaba, a light body, your essence. That's how you travel. That's how you go when you're dreaming and you leave your embodied state. And you perhaps go back to this crystalline chamber to receive infusions of light and encouragement. And now they're saying, come with me. Imagine if you will, as you step off that table, the entire crystalline foundation lights up you know that guardian angel that's been hovering over the top of you and infusing you with light this whole time? Now the entire circle of light is lit up so brilliant that you don't have to confine your energy field at all. You're held and we're being guided all of us together into a light ship. If you would imagine, the closest thing we have to it when you look up at the beautiful blue sky on a clear day and see that it's so beautifully well-formed clouds and the sun shines through you might say, wow, it looks like heaven is opening up to grace us. 
That's kind of like what this light ship looks like. And so here we go. Allow your guardian angel to guide you. And in a moment, it's not really like we have to get on this light ship, but it's pretty comforting when you go on a nice, beautiful trip and you have companions with you. And you can say, look at that. How wonderful is this? So first, we're gonna go back to Orion. We're gonna go and travel the belt and watch the stars stream by. going to go at warp speed because you know these are portals of light the star streaming happens through intention and it happens so quickly that before you know it you're there now I will say what will help is if you just let go of your sense of a horizon line. This way is very different. It's a multi-dimensional holding and flowing and streaming. Allow yourself to be held. We're about to land in to a water world, a blue, green, misty water world. And I would say it looks like about maybe 70% of us came from this world before we came to the earth about 32,000 years ago. Now this world is a very interesting world. They're showing me and telling me to tell you some things about where you are. You know, in this world, you never did have to define your boundaries. You never did. Because this is a creator world. This is a collective consciousness world. This world is a weeness world, a oneness world. And those of you that like to wear aqua in blue and those beautiful greens that remind you of this world. In this world, some of us have a harder time adjusting to not being in the we-ness because this world that we come from is so soft and gentle. And the closest thing that we have to this world is like this beautiful green-blue mist. So feel yourself here. Allow yourself to float. They're showing me mental pictures. This is where you created the bird kingdom and the fish kingdom. You imagined it right on into creation. 
This is also where you created your love of family. If you've been disappointed in any aspect of your embodied state on earth, this is where you can let go of that disappointment and come back and say, yes, I remember the original matrix of family. I remembered how I felt and still feel about flight, about freedom, about going with the flow. being shown visions of these beautiful, beautiful family members in this gorgeous blue-green world coming around you, coming around us and saying thank you. Thank you for your creation. It won't be long now. It won't be long. You'll see, we're sending souls your way. We're sending them, they will come as children, yes? And they will come with much joy because they will remember, they will remember their sense of freedom and they will come find you. They will come find you They're saying their goodbyes to you, saying, see you later, see you in your dreams, see you in your tomorrow, see you in your today. And we're all being asked as a collective consciousness to step inside this light ship again. And off we go to the seven sisters. Many of us in this room have had such fantastic lives in the seven sisters. And 
Now I must say that moving through these portals can be quite confusing if you're just not letting go. But if you allow yourself to be held, they can be quite like a roller coaster ride, and yet they can be like a torpedo going straight through who knows what. Imagine, if you will, coming upon soul pods. The closest thing I could uh, describe, these are like uh, kelp. Being a diver a long time ago, going into the underwater world, you see these gorgeous, gorgeous plants grow with these long stems. And they would have these bulbs, like flowers, all along. And that's where we are. We're in this world now where it's pure light. And they're telling me that they're taking us back to our soul pod. Imagine, if you will, coming upon one of these long stems. This is actually where you have chosen your lifetime in this stage, in this embodied stage. Some of you are being dropped off to this pod and others are on this pod. Yet others are being dropped off and welcomed by your soul grouping in another pod. But it's like a long, long shim pole of these beautiful, glowing pods. And they're glowing from within, by the way. Now, on the surface, you might say that they look pretty small. But you have to remember, this light ship that we're in is enormous. And so when you step into this world, Everyone that you have ever imagined into your creation and your sense of home, these are the light beings who are greeting you. And I'm being asked to take us through a sequence so that you can see in your own way who you are, where you are, and how you wish to create. This is quite extraordinary in my world because they're also saying, if you will, that your future lives are in this pod. Can you imagine that? So not only are you here where you began in terms of your soul development, getting ready to come to Earth and in all those other worlds that perhaps you've gone to. But this is where you're cooking up your future lives as well. I must say that some of you are also living parallel lives. And so take a moment. And I see it's like a grandmother type feeling of this being. And she's not revealing herself so much in form. Like I can't describe to you what color hair or her facial features or how tall she is. But she's approaching you and us in this feeling that she has known you before you were born. She has held you as an infant. She has watched you grow old. And she has watched you being birthed again and again and again. This is one of the star elders here to greet you. 
and yet you are surrounded by such loving kindness of all the other souls that you have created with, are creating with, and will create with. So take a moment, take a moment and enjoy the sharing here. Ask as many questions as you like. If it were me, I'd be quite curious. Who am I? Where have I come from? Why did I pick this life? What is it that I wish to learn here now? What is the progression? And what do you wish to tell me now? Take a moment. So you know those times and those dates that they're talking about? They were just giving me a download to share with all of you. Okay, so the last time this soul group was together here in our embodied state was 1879, coming in as a collective consciousness to prepare the world or the shift point that was going to happen right around the turn of the century. A lot of us came back in back in the 30s, right before that shift point coming us into the modern age. And we've heard in the work here about future timelines as well. The major shift point upon us right now in present moment is the March-April time frame of 2017. This is what we're doing in this room right now today. You are deciding vibrationally to let go of all the mind stories that you've told yourself from the human perspective. I can't. I shouldn't. It's too hard. I don't know. I may never get there. I'm okay. This isn't fun. 
those all those little nagging things that have controlled our minds. The shift point is back to the original intention, the very purpose as to why you decided to come into the planet in the first place. Because we're preparing for the next generation, the next big opening here, 2024, 2052, 2063 is going to be a big banner year. And a lot of us may want to come on back in then or hang around. It's the rotational spin of the earth that's shifting and our bodies are feeling that. So they're saying, take a moment and reconnect with this feeling of an anti-gravitational force. Even though it happens only for a moment, for a moment before we leave this pod, for a moment, and I'm kind of getting the sense of some of us that had this feeling of, gee, I think this is my time to go because my molecules aren't holding together. Take a moment and feel the field. It's like an anti-gravitational field where you're floating. This does require you to soften your mind and keep your energy in your heart center. By the summer of this year, you're going to feel this more and more and more, and you're going to recognize that this is actually the new flow of the earth, the new flow of the earth. So all those mind constructs that make us feel that we have a problem to solve, that just doesn't exist. Once you make that shift, the end point of this game is around September of 2017. You just can't push any longer with the mind. So feel the feeling of flow before we leave this seven sisters soul pod birthing chamber. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. We'd like to introduce you to the angelic kingdom. The sprite-like beings that support you here now. As we so honor you. Stay right where you are.
And now, as you stay in this light ship, you say goodbye, see you later, farewell, see you in my future, which is just a state of awareness anyway, come here. And let us all have this deep and abiding experience of being birthed as pure light back into our embodied state, staying inside this Merkaba, the container, the vibrational container that you've created with your heart your hands and your third eye and that we've created together with the help of these beautiful beings as our collective but before you do I just want to say one thing be welcomed be welcomed by the nature spirits when you do come in, look at all the beautiful, beautiful things that you yourself have created. You have imagined the birds and the fishes. You have imagined the willow and the wind. You have imagined the wind into creation because it makes you feel so good. Remember that? Do you remember that? And so now, let us all come into this plane of existence, welcoming ourselves back into the embodied state. Wishing you much love on your journey, they're saying. They're saying goodbye, goodbye, see you later, <laughs> see you later, see you in your dreams. When you hear the words, I love you, that will be me. There's this beautiful, it looks like a little boy essence. When you hear the other say, I love you. That will be me. And the other is saying, this grandmother, beautiful essence, is saying, I know you. Have I not met you before? She's saying, that will be me. That will be me. And your playmate, your playmate, tugging at your heart who says I will see you I will see you do you see me that will be me you see that will be me so take a moment in this repattern energy Let us all come back anew. And I invite you to consider that the very first face that you see when you come back will be a reminder of how much you are loved. Three. Two, one. Three, two, one.